I'm Henry Lee. Now I try to um, make a demo of a finishing step uh, in dry mounting of a Chinese brush painting um, because I just got uh, a help email, help request email from a user, um, a customer of uh, our uh, Blue Heron Arts um, who bought the brushes uh, and other tools from us for dry mounting. Everything went uh, great according to her email, but uh, at the last step, she um, she don't know what to do. I think uh, uh, maybe because I didn't have this uh, step show in previous videos or, you know, as a comma as uh, the other uh, procedure in dry, uh, wet mounting demos. So the last step uh, is how to lift a dried painting from the um, drying board. Uh, let me turn this uh, camera to my wife, Victoria, help, uh, so I can show you. Okay. You can maybe stand in this direction. You can get closer, you can move. Okay. So this is uh, the surface I use to dry my um, mounted paintings, I can do several painting uh, on this uh, door. I bought this piece from uh, Home Depot many, many years ago. Um, you can also dry it on glass. I think the question I got from the email is um, the, the glass. It's the same procedure and the same formula you might in my face, same problem. Because if you try to lift from the, if you try to lift the whole thing, it's impossible. You see? Because we have to fix the margin uh, with the thick, intense paste, which is different than the paste we use on the back of the painting, if you uh, recall. On the back of the painting, the consistency is much diluted than you might imagine. I call it like a milk, skim milk, uh, like a 2% uh, fat milk, very thin. It could be thinner. Um, you have to experiment. It depends on the floor you use. If it's a, a gluten-free free floor, you might use a little thicker. If it's an all-purpose floor, uh, you just use very thin paste. That, because you know, we can easily lift even separate the painting from the backing paper if needed. So uh, you just need enough paste to, to uh, make the backing paper um, and the painting, uh, back the painting with backing paper uh, with very thin paste. However, you have to use very thick paste to um, hold the, the stretching power because when it gets Dry, the painting will stretch. That's um, the mechanism uh, to make the painting flat. So even there's air in between the, the drying surface and the painting behind the painting is okay it's because we, in the process of drying, um, this will be um, flattened. So this is a, this painting I've done many months ago, maybe a year ago. Uh, I think I showed this on, on video. This was done on silk. The mounting silk um, is about the, is the same. Some, uh, by the way, ask me how to mount uh, size the silk, pen, you know, painting on size silk. It's the same as uh, the uh, uh, rice paper. If you use silicone, why I don't use silicone on silk? Because silicone might invade stuck in the fiber of the silk. Um, so I prefer the traditional way. Then I can use silicone if needed to to to, um, to put uh, on another support, heavier support maybe. So the, the primary backing I would prefer uh, using wet mounting on silk. Um, okay. So if you think you 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 have trouble to lift this painting, that that's normal. Um, 
the, the way, as you can see, to lift the, pin, the mounted painting is to cut it off. So you have to cut it with a utility knife or a, uh, etc. or what is that kind of blade, you know, very sharp point. Um, so you, you cut it along the, the very high edge. You may leave a little, um, like a, one eighth of an inch, something like that. Uh, you can cut you know, very close to the painting because the, the painting should be should not stick on the on the glass or on the on the table or on whatever surface it is. So you can see I do this uh, on the two sides first. In some cases, it starts to pop up. I can see that you know it's because the tension. Uh, Will make it pop up automatically. As soon as as soon as I cut the the margin that holds it, you know, and it, it should be very easy. You should do it this. Okay. So basically, you can see it's already popping up with the tension. You see it's how easy it is. So if you try to lift it from the it's impossible. And traditionally, we just leave this uh, paper on the board. You don't have to clean it up. I, what, what's the reason? I don't know, but I have seen the professional mounting shop just leave layers of layers of this uh, leftover margin. And it will help in the future product. Uh, it, it won't, you, you know, if you see something bother you, you can like an ink color or something, you can use the wet um, towel to remove it. But I don't, I don't do that. I just, I just lift the loose margin like that. So we, we just tear it off. And then finally, I'll cut the top line. I don't need this knife. Sometimes I need a sharp uh, knife to lift one corner and then but in most cases, you, you don't need it will pop up. You know, if it's a nice table, then I don't know what to do. You have to find out your way to do that. If you use your dining table to try this piece, I'm afraid you will cut it like, like so. So I, I will use a special um, board just for this purpose. Okay, so this is a mounted painting uh, done on silk. I used the one Zhou rice paper. Uh, it's a very thin mulberry paper roll. You can get this is uh, perfect for this perfect for, for this. Um, here are another painting I may show you again. Uh, it's done in France uh, in Alps. Two years ago, I mounted this. It has been on this board for a while. Um, I used the uh, uh, mobile number four with the golden sparkles. Just add a little texture, like uh, the flakes, golden flakes, or like a snowflakes. I used uh, a mulberry paper number four with the golden flakes mounted. So it will add a little dots to it. As if there are no. Okay, again, I, I cut the four, uh, the, the three edges, the bottom, the, the sides first. You know, make sure the knife is sharp enough. If not sharp enough, you will see you know, something wrong. You would just drag, you know, pull the tail it. So you should have the, a sharp new blade this okay and then you can use this uh, sharp tip to lift it from a corner it's a very easy just as easy as is that okay and then cut the top be careful not to cut inside the painting right just cut outside the painting leave a little a little bit Okay. 
So I hope uh, it, this video will help uh, some of you to finish your wet mountain project easily. Um, so all you need is a sharp knife, cut it off. Okay. Until next time. Bye bye. Thank you, friends on Facebook, and thank you for watching on YouTube.